What's up? Uh, wanted to do a video about Ramastra because I was, I mentioned it uh, in the last video, I guess. But then I'm pretty sure I just talked about the movie and moved on from it. But I was reading this afterwards and I was looking at it and I thought I would just respond by recording once I read this paragraph. So that's as, that's as far as I got. But it's said to be able to destroy the whole universe, capable of destroying creation and vanquishing all beings. Uh, created by Lord Brahma along with its most powerful variants, Brahmishra, Astra, Brahmanda, Astra, and Bhag. Gavastra. Bargavastra. It is termed as a fiery weapon that creates a fierce fireball blazing up with terrible flames and countless horrendous thunder lashes or flashes. When discharged, all nature, including trees, oceans, and animals, tremble. And the sky surrounds with flame. Glaciers melt. And mountains shatter with copious noise all around. When you use the Brahmastra, which is person-centric, can destroy a person, powerful enemy if he does not possess an alternate counter weapon if it is Brahmishara Astra it causes collateral damage to every useful resource in a given area <clears throat> um, uses but used here but so I guess it didn't work then Against the army of Rama in the Ramayana, the Nagpasha. Maybe that one. I'm just thinking, like, it's possible, especially reading Ramayana, because it's been suggested that Dwarka was 5525 BC. <clears throat> and I was thinking maybe the vortex was actually earlier at the time of the Ramayana, from what I was. Uh, able to glean from some talks by Nilashok. <clears throat> so I was thinking maybe the Vortex, it's possible the Vortex weapon was actually not used on Dwarka and was used prior and uh, like thousands of years passed while the effects of the weapon transpired causing certain events along the way <clears throat> according to the Ramayana the weapon was also aimed at Samudra the sea god to carve a path out of the sea such that, such that Rama's army could march towards the island of Lanka. As Rama loaded the weapon, Samudra appeared and offered to assist the king in crossing the ocean. But once invoked, the Brahmastra must be discharged, and hence it was instead aimed towards Druma Tulya, falling at of modern-day Rajasthan, 
causing it to become a desert for eons to come. I, I mean, it's possible that this is related to Eastern Pakistan, I guess. See if we can find it. Doom shape. Chapter five. All okay. right. Pardon me. So I talk about this in an episode or two called maybe even called the Doom Shape. I don't know. Uh, let's say. At least that one, <laughs> but probably uh, the ones surrounding there a lot. Anything around Gurnar in the like fifties episodes is where I really talked about it rather than just like mentioning it in passing. Though, um, basically reading this and going through it, but in essence. That's what that was what I thought of when I read this paragraph. It just made me think of the doom shape. It's even like a ball, a fireball. Creates a fierce fireball. So it's possible, it's possible that that's... How it happened? I don't, I don't know. I just thought I'd point that out because of the connection between the doom shape and the effect of this weapon. Let's see, let's check it out a little bit. Um was seen in all land, the lands that whereabouts in color is bright and fiery in appearance changing and unstable twisted about itself like a coil like water bubbling into a pool from an underground supply and all men agree, agree it was a most fearsome sight it was not a great comet or a loosened star but being more, being more like a fiery body of flame, like a fireball. The doom shape thundered sharply in the heavens and shot out bright light lightings, lightnings, maybe. The channels of water were turned back unto themselves when the land tilted. And great trees were tossed about and snapped like twigs. Then a voice like ten thousand trumpets was heard over the wilderness. And before its burning breath, the flames parted. The whole of the land moved and mountains melted. The sky itself roared like ten thousand lions in agony, and bright arrows of blood sped back and forth across its face. Earth swelled up like bread upon the hearth. 
This was the aspect of the doom shape called the Destroyer when it appeared in days long gone by in olden times. It is thus described in the old records, few of which remain. It is said that when it appears in the heavens above, earth splits open from the heat like a nut roasted before the fire. Then flames shoot up through the surface and leap about like fiery fiends upon black blood. The moisture inside the land is all dried up. The pastures and cultivated places are consumed in flames, and, and they and all trees become white ashes. The doom shape is like a circling ball of flame which scatters small fiery offspring in its train. It covers about a fifth part of the sky and sends wreathing snake-like fingers down to earth. Before it, the sky appears frightened, and it breaks up and scatters away. Midday is no brighter than night. It spawns a host of terrible things. These are things said of the destroyer in old times. Read them with a solemn heart, knowing that the doom shape has its appointed time and will return. It would be foolish to let them go unheeded, now men say. Such things are not destined for our days. May the great God above grant that this, that this be so. But come the day surely will, and in accordance with his nature, man will be unprepared. Yeah, so there's that aspect also. No, it's appointed time and will return. And is the South Atlantic anomaly. Alright, uh, that's all I got for now. See y'all on the flip side.